All right, so boom. It is I, your host, founder, and chairman of Hold My Nuggets Incorporated. Be diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual, feet, chiseled, Adonis. Now, if you're watching this on the premiere, you're late. If you're watching this on the playback, you're late. You could have saw it early if you went over to my Patreon. On top of that, you could have saw it ad-free. As we both know, YouTube, Nancy, and the NFL likes to go and flag my stuff down. More importantly, the copyright claims all over the call the wrong place, so it's a possibility my channel could be taken down. So what you want to do is go over and make sure you see it ad-free and also early as well. So go to www.patreon.com slash chiseladonis and you can see these commentaries ahead of the pack. But of course, you're here to get these laughs, so why don't we get the laughs? The fuck you still looking at me for? Roll the damn beautiful bean footage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for your 2020 NFL Week 1 primetime game. I like commentary. We start out in South Park in Mile High Stadium as Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up the Tannehill. He'd connect with a Jonu Smith, who would move the chains for the Remember the Titans. We then take our cameras out west to SoFi Stadium, where somebody's playing The Legend of Zelda once again on that N64, because the Cowboys done lost Woods, as he'd pick up a huge gain and carry it to the 15. Think fast, Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up the Tanner. I dropped it. What happened to his hands? Meanwhile, for the Rams, my name is Malcolm Brown, and I'm about to be inside the end zone now. Scored a touchdown for me as the Rams would strike blood first. To MetLife Stadium we go where the New York football giants punting the ball back to the Pittsburgh Steelers but looks like Deontay Johnson and Johnson Baby Oil's got a little bit of butter fingers because he can't hold on to the punt. He muffed it and it's recovered by the New York Giants inside the two yard line. Luckily our field crew was mic'd up. Let's take a listen to Inside the Pile. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Hey! It's on ball! My, 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 my. Here come the boys. Deck hands the ball to Thick. He picks up a first down and keeps the chains moving. One quick look at that Giants offense. Come here. Incomplete. Let's take one more look at that Giants goal line offense. Danny Dimes passes. I dropped it. They'd have to settle for a 21-yard field goal. Let's kick through the uprights and it's good. Here come the boys. Deck takes the snap. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I got you now, SpongeBob. Down goes Deck, sacked by Aaron Donald. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go, and Big Ben is back. Show the people what we miss. Oh, shit. I dropped it. The Steelers would be forced to punt. Where do you think you're going? All right, let's try this again. Here, take it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's see here. Hey, hey, get out of here. Did I stutter? Back to mile high we go, hand off to the reigning, defending, undisputed dreadlock MVP, King Henry. And just look at his sheer presence igniting the Titans offense as Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up to Tannehill would find Corey Davis for the first down. Meanwhile for the Rams, my name is Malcolm Brown and I'm about to be catching a football now, running to Cowboys territory. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go, Big Ben Roethlisberger takes the snap, third and six, looking over the middle. He's got Juju on that beach. Smith Schuster moving the chains. The Titans send out Steven Guskowski for a 47 yard field goal, but watch out for that Pidgeotto. These goddamn Pokemon pushed it wide to the right with wing attack. Hey, Steven, it's only one missed kick. Not like you're going to miss another one, right? Looks like the Rams are still watching television. My name is Malcolm Brown, and I'm. <laughs> Looks like somebody changed the channel because he's watching a little bit of Seinfeld because he's participating in the Frank Costanza challenge and they'd be stopped. And I'm about to be moving the chains right now. Another first down for me. Pick a goddamn channel. Are you watching Seinfeld or are you watching the Cleveland show? Back out to Meth Life Stadium we go. Third and nine for Pittsburgh. Big Ben looking to make a withdrawal from Chase Bank Claypool as he submit his application to the 10 toes down challenge with a magnificent poker to the sideline catch. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Drew Locksmith takes the snap. Looking left. He's got the pride of Haiti. Jerry Judy moving the chains. New Year, same nicknames. Play action fake. Jared, I look like Ryan Gosling. Golf got Cooper. Two girls, one cup. Moving the chains for the Rams. Back out to South Park we go. Hand off to Philip Lindsay Lohan. But watch out for that banana. Why, 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 why? Chris Boswell takes the field for Pittsburgh with 54 seconds left to play. 41-yard field goal kick through the uprights. It's good. We got a tie game at three apiece. The Broncos in the period colored zone. Drew Locksmith rolling towards his right. He'd take a look into the Bible. He'd find Noah's Ark fans in the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos. They strike blood first. Samuel Sloman Shield lines up for a 29-yard field goal. Did he just doink that off the upright? Is that Sam Sloman Shield or is it? Oh, hey. I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon. 
What the hell is going on? What the fuck? Tell me I did not just see that. And as you can see, I am not dead. What do you mean? <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. What do you mean? What was the point? Why would you do this? Nick Folk missed a kick on Sunday. Zane Gonzalez missed two kicks and now Cody Parkey's back. My, my soul can't take this. I, I can't take this. Why would they do this? Why? Why would they do this? Do they not know this man's supposed to have his motherfucking head back down? Is my death note broken? Why are these people coming back to life? Back out to Meth Life Stadium, Danny Dimes looking towards his left's got his man there moving the chains. Meanwhile for Dallas, Dick takes the snap looking left, he's got Michael Gallup. Oh, I missed. Stupid fucking dummy. Avoids Jalen Ramsey, but can we take a second to look what Aaron Donald just did on his pass rush? Look how he manhandled Zeke. This man lifted Zeke off the floor like God rose Lazarus' soul out of the grave. You've got to be kidding me. He damn near choke slammed this man on national television. I'm not sure that's Aaron Donald. That just might be. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go, play action fake, Daniel Jones looking to go deep, he's got a man, that's Darius Slayton slaying the Pittsburgh Steelers secondary, and the Giants regain the lead. Hey Dick, you remember that old nursery rhyme from the late 1800s? Well play it on a CD, Mary had a little lamb, as he finds CD lamb deep inside Rams territory. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go, third and nine for Big Ben. I dropped it. Man. This some old bullshit. But back the other way, here come the Giants, baby. Danny Dimes got a man. Yoink. But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by TJ Watt. It was only a matter of time. Is that Danny Dimes or is it vintage Eli Manning? Well, he retired, so this is the tutelage of vintage Eli Manning. Them boys in the period colored zone. Deck looking towards his right. He's got Deke. And look how he makes four Rams break their ankles as he dive into the end zone for the score. Touchdown, Cowboys. I wonder what his tattoo says. Feed me, feed me more. This man tattooed feed me on his stomach? B oh boy. From this point forth, every time he makes a big play, I'm going to put the Ryback feed me more. Meanwhile in Denver, Butterfingers fumble on a play recovered by the Tennessee Titans. Looks like Dallas simply can't find a power cord for the N64 because once again they lost Woods as Robert Woods would move the chains. Remember Jared from Subway? I can't believe he was out here trying to sell us sandwiches while he was touching children. Back out to Meth Life Stadium where Pittsburgh's offense EXE has finally loaded as Big Ben would find Eric Ebron inside the 15. It's about time. Dave gave it to the king as Derrick Henry would turn the corner and finally we'd have ourselves a sermon but he stepped out of bounds. Jared I look like Ryan Gosling golf looking towards his right he's got Cooper two girls one cup picks up a first down get your bitch ass off of me although he's tackled by a woozy anyway. And the Tennessee Titans inside the period colored zone Ryan Jack and Jill went up to Tanner Hill and got himself a touchdown as they'd even up the score at seven apiece. The Steelers in the Carmere colored zone Rosetta Stone Armenian motherfucker as Big Ben would find Juju on that beat Smith Schuster in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. I'd love to say they even up the score, but Chris Boswell done. This man doinked it off the upright. Oh my word, the spirit of Cody Parkey is out here tonight. Sam Sloman Shield lines up for a 35 yard field goal, kicks it through the uprights. The Rams regain the lead. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Danny Dimes play action fake, dumps it off to say quads, tree trunks for legs. Barkley. He's got a few blockers out in front. Unhand me, scoundrel. <laughs> Turns another defender into a Goomba and picks up a huge first down for the Giants. Back to South Park we go. Mile High Stadium. Drew Locksmith rolling towards his right. Opens up that Bible once again as he'd find Norris Ark fans. And look how he runs through this arm tackle. Completely disregarded his existence. Meanwhile for Danny Dimes, he takes the snap looking right. He's got double E. Eric Ingram for the first down. But wait a minute. There's a little bit of laundry on the field. Because this man was participating in a little bit of the Akatsuki challenge. Because he's called with offensive pass interference. Almighty push. Hey, look, Melvin Gordon's on a new team. Activating a little bit of dreadlock powers. Moves the chains for the Broncos. One quick look at Danny Dimes. Cool, right? <laughs> Although the Cowboys gonna move the chains here, look at Aaron Donald, bro. This is a grown man. Y'all better triple block this motherfucker. This is ridiculous. The Cowboys would send out Greg Zerline for a 53-yard field goal, and his kick is. To the right, to right, to right, to right, to right. 
<laughs> Let's take a look at Big Ben. Let's see here. Hey! Hey! Come here! Get away from me! It's my turn! I got you now. Third and goal from the one-yard line for the Broncos. I got it, I got it, I got it. Are you sure about that? Back to SoFi Stadium. Jared, I look like Ryan Gosling. Golf looking towards his left. He's got Van George Jefferson inside the 25. What a catch. So you mean to tell me Triple H likes shovels more than sledgehammers? Where do you think you're going? Not on my watch. Goal line stand had Denver participating in the Frank Costanza challenge because... I stopped short. Tennessee takes over inside their own five play action fake. Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up a Tanner Hill and find a Corey Davis. Get your bitch ass off of me. Allow yourself to be planted into the dirt. I baptize you in the name of the Father. I baptize you in the name of the Son. I baptize you in the name of the Holy Spirit. Bitch, stupid bitch. One quick look at Saquon Barkley's rushing yards. We have you surrounded. Fuck. I guess the Cleveland show must be over and they're watching Seinfeld because the Rams are participating in the Frank Constantia Challenge too. Mm, I stopped short. Sam Sloman Shield lines up for a 31-yard field goal, kicks it through the uprights. The Rams are up by six. Third and 18 for the Giants. Danny Dimes takes the snap, steps up. We have you surrounded. Just take it. Gets it to Saquon Barkley. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Dallas looking to put points on the board just before halftime. Thick would turn on the CD and Mary's got a little lamb moving the chains. Tennessee looking to do the same as Ryan Jack and Jill went up to Tannehill and got himself a first down. Feed me more. Thick takes the snap, hands it off to Thick and he'd carry it for a Cowboys first down inside the 15. Meanwhile, in Meth Life Stadium, Big Ben looking towards his right. He's got James George Washington moving the chains for the Steelers. Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up to Tanner Hill, found himself a Corey Davis submitting his application to the 10 toes down challenge with a magnificent catch on the sideline. Look at the turf flying off the floor. Beautiful technique. Oh, my God. Legend has it receivers coaches around the nation are probably salivating at the mouth or probably erect looking at this catch. And they'd continue to move the chains because two plays later, Tannehill would connect with A.J. Brown and he'd carry it to the 24-yard line. Two plays later, then boys in the period colored zone, Dak would dial up voicemail, call his own number, and run it into the end zone for the Cowboys Genjutsu. His knee touchdown at the two-yard line. Take the points off the board. Meanwhile, in Meth Life Stadium, Big Ben looking over the middle. He's got Juju on that beat. Smith Schuster moving the chains again for Pittsburgh. You want to see me do it again? I think Beyonce is singing a little bit of deja vu because Juju on that beat. Smith Schuster moves the chains again. Hut, hut. Don't do it. No. Look out. Behind you. Oh, I got one. Brutality. Looks like Ben would like to dial up voicemail and call his own number. Just look at him run. Man's moving slower than children's brains on a short bus. He'd pick up a first down, though. Feed me more. Guess who didn't graduate from Seattle Seahawks University as they hand it off to Vicky He goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Dallas. They finally take the lead. Yeah, yeah. Did you really think I wasn't going to make an appearance this year? We got the lead now, baby. We got thick. We got thick. Murray uh, Cooper, C.D. Lamb, we're there, boys! We're going to the Super Bowl! Nobody can stop us now! Steven Gaskowski lines up for a 44-yard field goal, and that kick sailing. To left, hey, to left, hey, to left, to left, to left. Golly, you missed one to the right, now you missed one to the left. That's two kicks you missed, Steven Gaskowski. Not like you're going to miss another one, right? Big Ben would head to the bank and exchange 600 pennies for six James George Washington dollar bills as he'd go into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. They're on top. We into the second half. Drew Locksmith looking for the pride of Haiti. I, don't I dropped it. What is he doing? What happened to my hands? Meanwhile, in Meth Life Stadium, Steel is up by six. Hand off to Benny Snell. He carries it into Giants territory. Third and ten for Deck. He'd find his man over the middle, and they're still moving the chains. Big Ben looking to cash checks once again. Going deep to James George Washington. Fuck Here come the Cowboys, baby. A little half and half. Think fast. Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up to Tanner Hill and he got a man. Yahoo. But he plays for the other team as the pass was intercepted by a Genjutsu. Because there's some laundry on the field. Personal foul, defense, unnecessary roughness. Tennessee keeps possession. How's Saquon doing? We have you surrounded. Yeah, come here. <laughs> It's time for the dreadlock lord and savior. Pitch over the I don't give a fuck about
about you. Third and 14, Danny Dimes inside his own end zone, but looks like he's not shooting bullets with his gun on safety because they pick up a first down. Can anybody on Dallas turn off the N64? They lost Woods again. The Giants now at the 45. Danny Dimes looking over the middle. He's got a man, and they move the chains once again. But look at the replay. Look at number 92 from Pittsburgh crawling on the ground like the boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman, and I'm coming to get you. Second and eight for the Rams. Hand off to Malcolm Brown, and we're about to be. Shut the motherfucking music off. Jared Goff already done carried it for a first down. And it looks like the Dallas Cowboys never going to make it to Forest Temple because they continue to get lost in the woods. He'd pick up another first down. He's tearing them up. Third and ten for the Titans. Ryan Ten. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Batted down by former teammate Jarrell Casey. Not today! Not today! So they'd settle for a Steven Koskowski 42-yard field goal and... <laughs> it's wide to the left again! Is your foot just for decoration? You missed three kicks already, but hey, not like you're going to miss another kick, right? The Giants going forward on fourth and one. TJ Watt nearly had a sack, but he stepped on a banana. <laughs> And Danny Dimes would make him pay because he'd find his man. That's Saquon Barkley for the first down. Back to South Park we go. Drew Locke got all kinds of time. Looking towards his left. He's looking for the pride of Haiti. Not on my watch. Think fast. Third and three. Jared, I look like Ryan Gosling. Golf looking left. He's got Reynolds. Unhand me, scoundrel. And he's going to reach for the end zone, but he comes up one yard short. Tennessee fans know all about that. And on the very next play, my name is Malcolm Brown, and I'm about to be back in the end zone now. That's two touchdowns for me. No, 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 no. We need to get the lead back. Next Rams possession. Third and seven. Jared Goff looking towards his right. He's got a man. I... But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by Shadobi Awuzie. And Dallas is going to get the football back in Rams territory. Yes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Think fast. Hand off to Saquad Barkley. He's going to carry it inside the five-yard line. Feed me more. Hey, what do you say when you play Playblades? Let it rip. Well, look at the spin move. Oh, my God. Third and three for Tennessee. Tannehill takes the snap, dunks it off to McNichols. <laughs> Well, God damn, they just ripped the face mask and helmet off this man's head. I had him looking like the headless horseman. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Play action fake. Danny Dimes rolling towards his left. He's got a man. My hand! Give me, give me, give me. But he plays for the other team. The pass intercepted by Ironhead Cameron Hayward in the end zone. Imagine a 19-play, 9-minute drive ending in an INT. Only one man can make that happen. And you learned under his tutelage. That's vintage Eli Manning. Pittsburgh looking to make them pay handoff to Benny Snell. He's got a couple of blockers out in front. As he'd cross the 45, he'd showcase a little. But our fingers fumbles on the play, but Juju Smith-Schuster is able to recover it. This is the second time we've seen a pile of bodies battling for the football. Luckily, our sound crew had field access. Let's take a listen to what happened at the bottom of the pile. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Noni. Ah, grab it back. Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. Play action fake. Ryan Jack and Jill went up to Tanner Hill. Looks over the middle. He's got Corey Davis making a ton of tough catches tonight. Dallas looking to take advantage of the turnover. The pass. They'd have to settle for a 33-yard Greg Zerline field goal. Kicks it through the uprights. It's good. Three-point game. Pittsburgh still on the move. Play action fake. Big Ben finds Deontay Johnson and Johnson Baby Oil. Cowers it to the 17. But on the very next play, Ben takes the snap. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Come here. Oh, no! Third and three for the Rams. Jared, I look like Ryan Gosling. Golf looking over the... It's on Oh, I missed. Feed me. More. Ensuing drive, Dallas on the move. Feek would carry it for a first down into Rams territory. Chris Boswell would take the field for a 36-yard field goal and gives Pittsburgh a nine-point lead. Think fast, Thick would find Amari Cooper for the first down, but there's some sort of glitch in his controller when he tried to juke just now. He still made number 32 touch earth. Did you think we're going to King Henry? Gotcha, bitch. Smith wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. They take the lead. And Steven Gaskowski on the extra point to make it a seven-point game. The kick is so far to the left. It's guaranteed the black vote. It's no good. Steven Guskowski. What the hell's the matter with you? Are your feet just for decoration? You are borderline Hall of Famer for your career in New England. You step into Tennessee and all of a sudden you stink up the joint. I heard you never taken a drug in your life but somehow couldn't kick addiction. Tennessee's got a better chance trusting kicks the cereal than you as a physical kicker. Somebody get this brother some water because you no longer got the juice. Take a seat on the bench and put your motherfucking head back down.
down, you damn bum, and take your shoes off as well. We don't need kickers tonight. Take off your socks too. Your feet should only touch the pavement. First and ten for them boy. That play action fake rolling towards his left. He'd find Amari Armani exchange. Cooper getting the best of Jalen Gordon Ramsey for the first down. Daniel Jones takes the snap on third and six. You belong to me. Now get your bitch ass on the floor. I hope you enjoyed your stay at the Mike Hilton Hotel. Think fast. Here comes Melvin Gordon activating his dreadlock powers. He tell one Titans defender, give me your ankle, stupid, as he'd carry it into Titan territory. And since ankles are currently being taken, Jerry Judy would like to get in on the fun. Give me your ankles, he tells another Titans defender and goes deeper into Titan territory. Oh, how the tables have turned because this is an attack on Titans and the humans are penetrating the Titans walls. Fourth and three, Dallas elects to go for it. Dax pass is caught and... <laughs> You want another one? Come at me, bro! The Rams activate Mirror Force. Turnover on downs. Had them participating in the Frank Costanza challenge, cuz... I stopped short. The entire Giants team yet to wake up in the second half. Big Ben still moving the chains. Denver knocking on the door. Drew Locksmith looking towards his left. He's got his man, and they're at the one-yard line. Los Angeles taking advantage of the missed kick. Jared, I look like Ryan Gosling. Goff's got his tight end, and they're now in Cowboys territory. The Broncos in the love colored zone. Rosetta Stone Bangler, motherfucker. As Melvin Gordon would go into the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos. They take the lead. <laughs> Back to Meth Life Stadium. Benny Snell froze Jabil Peppers just looking at him. And he'd pick up more yardage and a first down inside the 20 to the 14. You can't tell me Benny Snell didn't turn into Dio and say, Brother unplugged his entire controller. Then he tried to catch up. It's too late, bruh. It's too late. Third and ten for the Rams. Jared, I look like Ryan Gosling golf. Come here. Heaven to Betsy, the Steelers done turned the Giants into a Netflix account two hours into quarter appointments. Are you still playing defense? As Juju Smith Schuster goes into the end zone, touchdown Steelers, 23 unanswered points. Back to the land of them boys. Dak looking for Amari Cooper. <laughs> Ensuing drive for the Giants. Danny Dimes looking towards his right. Under five minutes left to play. They're now in Steelers territory. He then show Ben Roethlisberger, this is how you use your legs, old man, as he pick up a first down for the Giants. But wait a minute. You think we not about to talk about this Fox slide? What the hell was that? On the next Tennessee drive, they're pinned inside their own five. Tannehill's pass over the middle. Stupid. Not today. Not today. Let's check on those Cowboys real quick. What's Aaron Donald doing to their O-line? Here I go. Almighty. Push. This man just laid out three people on one play. Look at the right tackle. This man jumped so goddamn early. Third and four. Danny Dimes finds his man at the 20. Third and eight and mile high. Drew Locksmith takes the snap. Looking to go for the knockout blow. Going deep. He's got a man in the end zone. Dude, what the fuck? Why is she at... My bad. My name is Malcolm Brown, and it is third and three. Couldn't get the first down. Turn on side. Failed for me. I stopped short. The Titans tearing up the Broncos defense. I haven't seen this much horse abuse since training for the Kentucky Derby. Release yourself from that Genjutsu, A.J. Brown. You weren't down. The New York Crips in the Suwoop zone. Danny Dimes finds Darius Slayton in the end zone. Second TD for him on the day. But did that help the Giants come back and win? Absolutely not. Take out your Uno cards. Try to give them two for your mistakes. Danny Dimes looking in the end zone. Hell no, no. Tennessee looking to take their receipt to the sperm bank because they want their comeback. Ryan Tannehill's pass falls incomplete, but there's a little bit of laundry on the field. Pass interference on the defense. What's going on with them boys? Dick takes the snap. It's my turn. The Titans turn to oh Henry as he carries the first down and brings it inside the 20. Feed me more. Fourth and one for them boys. That gives it to Zeke. He carries it for a first down. One more withdrawal at the Chase Bank Claypool. He picks up the first down, takes the dead Namekian into the funeral home because the nail is in the coffin. Pittsburgh's going to win. 30 seconds left to play. Give it to, oh, Henry. Come here, number 23. You've been blessed in the name of the Lord. Stiff arm your bitch ass. Third and 10 for the Cowboys. Dak play action fake, looking to go deep. He's got Michael Gallup. First down. Dallas is inside the 20. But wait a minute. There's laundry on the field. Field. Pass in 
interference. Offense number 13. He was pushing Jalen Ramsey. No, 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 no. That's not pass interference. These referees are worse than the referees in the 1994 NFC Championship. It's Michael Irvin versus Deion Sanders all over again. That was an offensive P.I. It was an O.P.I. Jalen Ramsey out here looking like the second coming of Denzel Washington. This man acting his ass off. But in his defense, this is why he's a top three corner in the league. Look at the technique. He hooked the arm knowing that the referee would see this. All he had to do was graduate from the Dolph Ziggler, Shawn Michaels school of selling and get the referees to believe it was real. Did the Cowboys get robbed on the call? Absolutely. But blame Jalen Ramsey. His genjutsu is far too strong. Fuck you, Jalen Ramsey Uchiha. I don't like you. Third and one, Tennessee looking for a go-ahead score. Ryan Tannehill's got A.J. Brown. Oh, I missed. Like a man begging for sex, all he could get was just a tip. Steven, get your shoes on. You're lucky Mike Vrabel is the coach here in Tennessee. Because you guys used to be teammates, he's going to give you another shot. Kaskowski takes the field for a 25-yard field goal. He kicks it through the uprights. It's good. He's redeemed himself. And Tennessee has taken a two-point lead on Denver. Holy shit, I can't believe it. He actually made it. You just saved your ass from being put in the death note. I cannot believe it. Tennessee would hold on to win. Fourth and 20. Game on the line for Dallas. Dak running for his life. He launches it down the field. sales incomplete the Rams are gonna win on Sunday night football and Dallas starts their season 0 and 1 no 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 I blame the referee they cheated us but guess what we're gonna bounce back next week and then we're gonna win 15 straight games that's 15 and 1 then we're gonna go to the postseason first round but we're gonna win two games in a row that's gonna be 17 and 1 and then we're gonna go to the Super Bowl and win Super Bowl 55 that's 18 and one, and we're going to be six-time champions. We're going to get six rings, six rings, six rings, six rings, six rings, six rings. We did, boys. Oh, give it a rest, SpongeBob. You and the Dallas Cowboys can go join the Denver Broncos and the New York Giants in taking out your Metro card. And to get in a board, the L train. Oh, what's on? Enough from the clown. The fuck y'all looking at?